Yeah. Hello and welcome everybody. Welcome to today's webinar. Uh, today, Conservate and Leap InfoSys will be presenting Dali Lighting in the Niagara Framework. Uh, I am Anthony Girigossian, the Business Development Manager at Conservate, and joining me today will be Sudhir, Sudhir Patil. Uh, Sudhir is on the line. Hi, Sudhir. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. I hope everyone is doing good. So uh, Sudhir has uh, joined us today to, to share his knowledge and his insight about Dali Lighting, uh, Dali Lighting in the Niagara Framework and specifically the Elite Dali um, solution. So throughout today, uh, both myself and Sudhir will be presenting information. Uh, we will be talking about uh, the Niagara Framework, uh, just generally for, for those who aren't familiar with the Niagara Framework. We'll also be talking about the Niagara Framework and um, lighting in the Niagara Framework. We'll be talking about the Elite Daily solution and how that can be applicable to your um, to your business model or for your customers. We'll talk about the Conservate Edge IoT hardware, and then in the end, we'll finish with a question and answer session. And hopefully, by the end of this session, you will um, have lots of new information about uh, Niagara and Dali lighting and Eli Dali. So I will kick off by introducing myself and uh, Conservit. So I did mention my name is Anthony Girigossi. And I think I've, I've met uh, most people that are uh, joined today. For those who I haven't met, um, I am the Business Development Manager at Conservit. My, uh, my focus day today is to um, look at opportunities and, uh, and, and projects and try and find the best, most appropriate solution um, from a range of different technologies. Um, I'm very lucky that at Conservate we have so many different um, technology solutions. So um, there are a number of different um, uh, solutions that could be offered for almost any um, project. I, I like to find the best and most suitable um, solution always. So if at any point in time you've got a, um, any questions or any projects or, or anything at all, you're always welcome to come and have a chat to me. So now who is Conservate? Conservit, uh, we are a smart IoT solutions company. We are distributors of smart building technologies. We're also developers of smart building technologies. Uh, and we like to consider ourselves disruptors. We do things a little bit differently to those in the smart building space. Mm -hmm. We were uh, founded in 2006, uh, and at that time, our focus was on centrifugal chiller efficiency. Uh, we were really pioneers in the cloud um, back in 2006, we were we were working on a, a cloud platform that uh, that it wasn't it wasn't Amazon uh, AWS or Google Cloud. It was um, JSONs and some um, some SMS or email packets. It was a, a very rudimentary cloud way back when. Uh, this is uh, really pioneering uh, building to building clouds. Um, since then, we've diversified a lot. We are a major distributor of uh, smart building hardware. Um, we have developed our world-renowned PlanPro solution, which many of you will know. We, we are headquartered in Melbourne, Australia, but we also have an office in Italy, servicing Europe, Middle East and Africa, and an office in Singapore. So as distributors, Conservate distributes a lot of um, different products, all within a similar um, sphere. So today we're going to be talking about Niagara 4 and Elite Dali, but also Conservate distributes uh, LinkSpring, Genesis Hardware, EasyIO, Neptronic, MaxLine drivers. Uh, if we're talking about analytics and visualization, we are a DG Lux and SkySpark distributor. Um, we distribute a whole range of sensors, wired and wireless, from various Dwyer, Monet, Innovonics. And importantly, crucially, um, we are also focusing on cybersecurity and remote access through our partners, Totem and Tosi Box. So there's a wide range of hardware, software solutions here that we are able to uh, distribute. But importantly, um, today we're focusing on Niagara 4 and Elite Dali. So really when, uh, when we talk about Conservit as a distributor, uh, Conservit is able to distribute everything from right at the edge, the sensor to the IO platform, JSERs, supervisors, um, everything between the edge and the cloud, uh, Conservit is able to distribute. So um, whatever your um, projects, drop me a line and we can find the best solution for you. So Niagara 4, 
I know many of you will have already had experience with Niagara Fall, um, but for those who don't have experience with Niagara Fall, let me tell you a little bit about Niagara Fall and, and Conservative's relationship with Niagara Fall. So Conservate is the second largest distributor of Tritium Niagara in Asia Pacific. We are an, the only authorised Vicon dealer in Australia. Um, we're an OEM um, and we are also a, a Niagara portability partner. There's only 10 in the world, which means that Tritium trusts us to take their Niagara software and put it onto really good hardware. And that's, the, um, that's where Conservate's Edge IoT hardware has come from. So we, we do sell a lot of Niagara and because we sell a lot of Niagara, we have a lot of experience with Niagara. We have a really strong support team that can um, support on um, any Niagara query. Um, and uh, we've got a lot of uh, intrinsic knowledge about the product. Niagara 4 is a very powerful open framework for control, automation and graphics. Uh, it allows you to converge all of your different uh, building systems into a single place. So you only need to have one tool to do everything. You can integrate data through the common, um, common channels such as BACnet or Modbus, uh, Elite Dali, of course. You can tag data with Haystack and send it to SkySpark uh, through the uh, nHaystack um, module. Uh, you could communicate via OBIX or LON. Uh, importantly, there is also uh, Niagara to Niagara communication, which is which is very powerful. But this isn't the end. There's so many different connections that you can make with Niagara to other systems, which allows you to really have Niagara at the core of your building or at the core of your solution. So when Niagara is the core of your solution, you can bring together your HVAC. That could be connecting Plant Pro or connecting your air handlers, could be connecting your security um, system, your vertical transport. Um, you could use Niagara directly for Niagara Analytics, for example, or you could use Niagara as a data aggregation platform, bring all your data together, tag it, and send it up to the cloud uh, for analytics. For example, SkySpark, you could send it via NHaystack. You could send it via JSON, um, via uh, MQTT, for example. But really, Niagara has the capability of being the center of your building solution. Learn one tool, deploy on one tool, apply it to everything. But specifically today, we're going to talk about lighting and how can we integrate lighting into Niagara in such a way that we don't need proprietary third party hardware and software solutions. So on that, I will uh, hand over to Sudhir and Sudhir will tell us a little bit about Leap, his company, and the Elite Dali solution that they have produced. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony. Uh, thank you for uh, painting the right uh, required picture when it comes to uh, um, the open standards and how Niagara is really solving that problem of uh, uh, different systems working in silos. So thanks for setting the platform so that uh, we can take this conversation to a topic of the day. That is how we can bring in uh, DALI lighting uh, into Niagara. Uh, next slide, please. So before before we delve into the topic of the day, uh, just a quick glance of Leap Info Systems. So Leap Info Systems, we are a technology product company with a niche focus on lighting controls and automation. We ourselves are Niagara software developer with our products like LED Dali, which is the one we are going to discuss in detail today. Along with that, we also have uh, all other ecosystems product which are really required for all Dali lighting controls and automation. On top of that, uh, we also have a division which really cater to uh, consulting when it comes to a very highly specialized uh, services required for a complex uh, lighting management system designs, etc. So in a nutshell, Leap is a company with only and only focus on lighting controls and automation on Niagara platform. Next slide, please. So uh, we have been hearing uh, about uh, various uh, systems and I, I believe uh, convergence is the way because uh, uh, today all our customers are demanding uh, convergence. And what I mean when I'm saying convergence is that uh, all modern buildings today have different systems like you have HVAC, you have energy management, you have lighting, 
uh, UPS and whatnot, right? Uh, but the thing is that most of the systems are working in silos and that's where the BMS comes into the picture wherein BMS is trying to get them connected for a single purpose of interoperating with each other, sharing data with each other and leveraging this inti these integrations for better operational efficiency and of course uh, uh, saving uh, valuable uh, money out of the operations. But when it's come to lighting controls and operation, uh, lighting controls and automation, I know and I'm sure like uh, this technology exists since ages. So lighting controls and automation exist uh, uh, at the same time as the convergence has uh, seen its own world today. Customer have started demanding that I don't want lighting controls working in silo. I want even lighting controls to be integrated with my BMS. And as I said, obviously for obvious uh, reasons, which I stated some time back. But when it comes to introducing or commissioning or designing such kind of application wherein you need lighting controls, which is based on a DALI, which is a open standard protocol available globally, well proven to be connected to your building management system. What you see on the slide, that is how probably these are designed. So, so you have an independent lighting control systems coming in some coming in from some third party vendor who brings in their own proprietary hardware uh, and then software where the lighting controls uh, uh, is configured uh, for its functionality. But then we need to integrate this with BMS. Then it cannot directly interoperate and hence we need to rely on some kind of a third party or the pro uh, protocol converter and in BMS world as we know BACnet is very popular and hence most of the times we need some or other kind of a gateway we under which understand DALI as well as which understand the BMS. So as you see here in this uh, in this particular architecture we have independent lighting control system which is nothing but a DALI controller and on the south side we have all our DALI uh, uh, loops and the networks where my DALI uh, best light fixtures and the sensors are connected on the ground while as on the north side we are using a controller which is a back uh, sorry we have a converter which is a backnet converter and then converting the signals from DALI into the language which my BMS software can understand. But the problem with this this is definitely helping all of us to bring the convergence but we believe this is convergence at the cost and let me explain why I'm saying so. For a simple reason, because my BMS team who really, for example, in this case, let's talk about Nigra, right? So we have a team who understand Nigra, who is working on integrations of Nigra. But the problem is that they may or may not be aware, do not may not have those right required skills and competencies, which is required to commission or design the DALI control system, which has, because that is not based on Nigra, that is based on some third party system. So probably you are, Either you need to really acquire those skills and then work on it or you give way to another vendor or another system integrator who brings in this expertise, who bring the, brings in this uh, capabilities to design commission and then engineer engineering the, uh, uh, this lighting control systems, right? So, so this is one wherein probably you need a, a diversified skills and competencies. Second, most importantly, probably you, you have a different touch points. And that is where actually Elite DALI is coming in. So uh, can we have a next slide, please? As Nigra is a true solution for convergence, Elite DALI is also making it possible to converge your DALI-based lighting controls or DALI-based devices directly into Nigra. As you see in this architecture, which is which is for the same architecture which we discussed uh, in the earlier slide. Probably Elite DALI being a native solution, it is removing the dependency of all third party controllers and the softwares as well as the converters. And what it means is that you can directly terminate or integrate your DALI loops into Nigra based controllers. And those controllers could be your JSS or it, it could be any uh, uh, age hardware, right? So the biggest benefit of this is one, of course, which I talked about in earlier context as a disadvantage is that the same team who understand Nigra can easily commission, design, implement your DALI controls. You don't need to rely or you don't need to acquire any additional 
uh, a software or the controller knowledge one second and that is very obvious as we are removing the controllers and the softwares obviously it reduces the cost but the biggest important value which this architecture is bringing in is since we are reducing the touch points there are lesser points for the failure so in a nutshell elite dali is actually bringing in digra as a native solution for all uh, uh, nigra based systems can you have next slide please let's let's get into uh, more details as as far as how elite dali is making it possible so basically elite dali is is a nigra driver when it is installed and when it is used along with any nigra uh, controller basically you can use the same set of tools or the workbench what you have in nigra even for controlling commissioning managing your all intelligent dali light fixtures and that too in real time from anywhere so essentially what we are saying is that now with elite dali you don't have to use any third party controllers or the softwares next slide please let's also understand how elite dali is making it possible so as i said elite dali is a nigra driver so essentially it has got two more two important components as you see in this particular slide there is a hardware and uh, uh, which actually is connecting or your dali devices into the controllers as you see on the right hand side of the slide and on the left hand side the building blocks talks about the hardware which is which is used to connect this sensors or the light fixtures or even non dali light fixtures using the dali relay and we'll we'll explain this in more detail as we go uh, forward but more importantly uh, dali uh, sorry elite dali has a two important component one is the hardware module which is a physical module which is which is helping you to connect your dali devices with nigra controllers and there is a software component which is actually residing on the nigra platform and this software component is nothing but one which is a basic driver which is making this communication possible that is again within dali sorry within nigra itself so you don't need additional gateway or something of that sort second the biggest value elite dali is bringing on the table using its control components now what is control components are as we all know dali itself is a specification which is a open standard specification governed by iec 628 62386 right now most of the times just having those data points which dali devices are giving is not sufficient we also need to know the basic specifications which are available in dali so what elite dali has done elite dali has developed those control components and have made it possible had made it available in nigra as as a dali uh, component so you can easily use those components in your wire sheet use the business logic component which is the third important aspect of elite dali's building block and these business components are nothing but all your business logic which otherwise you need to develop on your own right are readily available as nigra components and that's where the value of elite dali coming in so it's it's not only helping you to reduce the hardware and the software but it is also helping you to reduce lot of commissioning time effort because you don't have to reinvent as a commissioning engineer on the ground you can simply use the available lighting controls component and that to in nigra language which we all are aware as we are using nigra day in day out for all, all our other commissioning and the bms work right so in a nutshell elite dali connectivity kit consists of edim which is a hardware module and the control components in a nigra language what we call as a kit controller right or other kit control right the kit control uh, uh, has a elite dali kit control palette along with this business components uh, can we have next slide please right i am sure like uh, those who are familiar with uh, nigra you all can relate this and this is what i was referring to if you see daylight harvesting which is one of the common requirement when it comes to lighting controls and automation now what elite dali has done elite dali has already developed a component called constant light controller and likewise there are almost uh, 20 to 30 different 
popularly used component available in elite dali what users need to do they just need to connect the dots they just need to connect the right points so for example in this case you see we have connected the uh, uh, occupancy and the lux level to the control uh, component along with the set point as a desired lux and the output is given to the concerned dali group now believe me if one has to develop this without this control component it will take hell lot of time and of course it's not just about the time but the more the complexity we are also adding a lot of issues in terms of uh, uh, creating a problems or cre uh, uh, adding uh, uh, issues which may pop up after we get into a production right so point i'm trying to tell you once you know igra you are done you can easily even commission control a uh, uh, dali based lighting controls project can we have next slide please right this is another example uh, in a, in a same context so i talked about the constant light controller which is which is the business uh, logic component which elet dali has developed now in this case you see dali group monitor now right, right so in dali we have a standard uh, specification that talks about on a one dali bus we have 64 addresses then on 164 at uh, one dali network you can have 16 groups one group can have 16 scenes right these are different specifications given by dali now uh, elit dali has written those components created those components based on the specification as is so when you are using elit dali you are 100% compliant with dali specification there is no deviation and best part of it as we we rely on nigra which is a open standard we also believe in the same philosophy of having open standard because this is another problem even in lighting controls most of the lighting controls though they are using dali they still are proprietary and hence you need to depend on their ecosystem products which is certainly not the case when it comes to elite dali it is truly open standard solutions that means you can work with any light fixtures from coming in from any supplier in the world as long as they are following dali as a specification right this is the nigra way of implementing your lighting controls and management systems or automation systems without using any additional hardware or a software can we have next slide please now uh, some of you may have a question yeah we understood that we can easily use dali in nigra we are definitely leveraging the all the capability is nigra the strong platform is bringing in for us right but what kind of applications we can build as you see on this slide anything and everything which is required for lighting controls and automation is definitely possible because as i said though we are using nigra as a bless engine bless platform it is purely based on dali second if i need to talk from the applications point of view from the end users point of view nowadays from the lighting controls everybody has started talking about human centric lighting now what is human centric lighting is that we all are aware about uh, living in the same uh, color temperature that is cct what we refer in the lighting world right but uh, there are obvious benefits if we have a dynamism even in the color temperature so for example if we change the uh, uh, color temperature in the morning for obvious reason in afternoon for obvious reason right and obviously there is a science behind it probably this is not a right time to get into it uh, uh, this is a topic in itself and i would love to interact if anybody is inter interested in understanding what human centric lighting is but uh, uh, coming to the topic uh, if you need to implement the human centric uh, lighting applications right so human centric just for the sake of understanding this is this is this is the application where you are not only changing the intensity of light obviously that is what we all know in terms of dimming up and dimming down but parallelly you are also changing the color temperature of the light fixture now we do this because it is pro proven as a benefit as a value add from the lighting industry now it can be done very smartly using your control system because you need to schedule you need to program so that at right time there is a right intensity as well as right color temperature provided you have the light fixtures who are supporting such kind of applications now in traditional lighting controls though they works on dali most of the times implementing such kind of applications becomes extremely complex in elite dali world 
nothing changes the same hardware software infrastructure which otherwise you are using for a simple intensity based controls is also can be used as is even for human centric application what is only required the prerequisite is your light fixture should be supporting such kind of application reason why because when when the elite dali was developed such kind of a components are already been developed so that you don't have to buy it separately or you don't have to buy additional hardware or software for such kind of applications right so what i'm trying to explain with this is that it's not only meant for a very simple dimming up and dimming down kind of application any complex applications like human centric uh, uh, solutions are also possible using elite dali and nigra daylight harvesting as uh, many of you are uh, might be already aware but a simple concept how we can leverage the available ambient light in the premises it could be your office building it be any commercial facility or it could be industrial fa uh, factories i'll give one case study most of the factories uh, uh, of food motors in uh, north america is using led dali uh, and where they are leveraging the natural light and reducing the dependence on artificial lighting that's a fantastic application which can definitely leverage uh, in industrial uh, uh, scenarios or warehouses so the reason i am bringing in this the same set of skills which otherwise you are using for your bms kind of a services elite dali can bring in another potential opportunity and can open up a different uh, segment altogether like industrial lighting automation and third i think i believe we all are aware about because uh, when we talk about integrated system it's bms plus lms so that's what i'm talking about a connected lighting uh, solution so uh, this pandemic uh, if I, I, we are sure like we have seen this uh, pandemic situation and we are closely observing it if uh, i need to pick up one good thing one positive thing out of this pandemic i'll definitely pick up that the adoption of technology has really picked up and not only in a context of our working from home or maybe virtual meeting like this the way we are meeting today right the world definitely has become flatter but the most importantly even the lighting industry is not really away in terms of adopting technology so you might have heard about this technology called uvc that is ultraviolet uh, uh, rays which are used uh, to sanitize uh, the premises and uh, slowly and silently the lighting controls is been effectively used because uv rays are harmful when they are directly exposed to the human bodies right point i'm trying to bring in is that probability technology is helping us to go beyond the boundaries so it's no more just dimming up and dimming down i already talked about how we can use daylight harvesting and now of course from the health and the well being i already refer this in a context of human centric but also in a situations like pandemic and i, I believe it's not only for this pandemic uh, uh, let's hope that the situation will be over soon but even afterward i think everybody will be cautious about of using right uh, a health and safety precautions and lighting and predominantly controls and automation is going to play a very important role in this so my point here is you one can use uh, 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 lighting controls uh, for uh, all type of applications which are uh, future centric as well as which are the need of current next slide please so just to give you a few uh, uh, user interfaces and uh, these are purely developed on nigra these are nigra native uh, interfaces so at times like uh, we feel that since Uh, we are using only nigra we may have restriction in terms of those beautiful aesthetic interfaces no i believe some of the interfaces which will come up can prove what i'm trying to say and in fact the biggest advantage on this if against you are using some uh, independent control system because they come up come up with their own set of application which is rigid wherein you don't have any option to customize it right forget about branding and all but because we are using a basic native nigra now it's in your hand to design the interfaces the way you want you can use your customers uh, uh, layouts and make it more interactive as we see on some of the slides uh, next please again point i'm trying to uh, explain is that uh, uh, there is no limitation when it comes to user interfaces so this is one of the interface which was developed as a template for one of our customer 
right that 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 absolutely looks professional and uh, very interactive in fact you don't see any control here all the controls are on the floor itself if you need to go in a particular zone you just um, take your mouse over there click and then the next page will appear when you will have the zoomed layout for that floor and all that stuff so point i am trying to give you is that nigra has these basic capabilities along with elite dali you can really exploit to the fullest possible uh, extent next slide please right so yeah uh, these are some of some of the uh, interfaces samples again best thing is that what i'm saying is all these are customizable I, what i'm just showing is some of the samples which which we end up creating as a template and generally we provide it to our partners or the customer whenever they uh, need next slide please uh, with this uh, i would like to invite anthony again to take this forward i am around uh, and definitely will take up questions uh, at the end of uh, this session right, thank, you. thank you so much sudia that was uh, that was really quite insightful um we uh, i will speak briefly about the uh, the niagara hardware that can be utilized um to connect uh via the elite dali um, solution. However, uh, before I start talking about that, I will say um, in uh, a few minutes, we'll start taking some questions. So if you do have any questions, please do pop them in the chat and uh, we'll, we'll get to we'll get through the questions. Anyone who does have questions, pop them in the chat. And we'll uh, we'll go through them uh, one by one. OK, so. Uh, Sudhir has mentioned that the. Um, the EDIM kit, so the Elite Dali hardware um, can connect to a Niagara um, uh, Niagara interface, and then once connected, it will uh, it, it will allow for uh, connection from the Niagara um, right down to the lights. But you could do that from a, from a JACE. So if, if of course you'd like to do your um, your Niagara integration with Elite Dali through a JACE, you can you can let me know, and we've we've certainly got JACEs that could do that job. Um, but also we've got other hardware that could also achieve the same. So Conservate has its Edge IoT hardware. Uh, on the screen, you've got the CI Edge X1. This is our new beast of a Niagara controller, quad core, super powerful um, JACE alternative. Uh, and, and I'm also showing the Genesis um, Edge. Both of these hardware have the RS-485 ports required uh, to connect to the EDIM. So you would connect your RS-485 to the EDIM kit and then uh, there's the Dali power supply, which would also connect, and then that would um, go out to your lighting fixtures. So the, the conservative hardware is also usable. Let me show you how. So in this case, I've got an example of the Edge X1. Now the Edge X1 is, uh, is very, very close uh, to, to being released. It's not available um, today, but, uh, but very, very soon we'll make some announcements about the, the release about the Edge X1, but the Edge X1 is a powerful Niagara based um, hardware. It is our next generation um, next generation Edge IoT Niagara controller. So you would connect the RS-485 ports to the EDIM kit, just like you can see here. And then you would connect directly from the EDIM, you would connect to all of your DALI fixtures. You have 64 DALI fixtures on your EDIM. But what if you've got no um, DALI fixtures? It's actually not a problem. You can um, use DALI relays to connect your non-DALI LEDs. So uh, you could do the same thing. On the other side, we're showing this. Your RS-485 ports connecting to your EDIM, which is connecting to up to 64 relays. And those 64 relays could um, cover any number of um, non-DALI LEDs beneath. So you can see that um, absolutely the um, Elite Dali um, solution, the software on uh, on the Niagara platform and then the hardware for the connection um, is a great solution. It's available uh, to connect to Niagara either via a JS8000 or via our Edge X1 or the Genesis 534 um, hardware, which are JS alternatives. Um, and it really brings uh, everything together. You're, you're lighting into your main BMS. So I guess to summarize, uh, I will say that the Niagara 4 uh, ecosystem is extremely powerful, open and capable. Um, you can bring so much data together and really make Niagara the center of your building. Um, and when we add Elite Dali to that, it means that you've now got open access to your Dali interface 
Um, no longer will you need proprietary lighting gear. Um, Conservative Edge IoT hardware can be utilized to connect to eLight Daily, or alternatively, you could use a JS8000, which we can also supply. Um, and if you do have any questions about um, pricing, we won't we won't discuss uh, pricing or particular projects today during the um, uh, during the question and answer. But but we can discuss that uh, separately. You can um, email either me or our orders team, orders at conserveiot.com. Okay. Now to questions. So I will open the floor. Um, if anyone does have any questions, please do pop them in the chat and we'll go through them. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Sudhir, I might um, start with a couple of questions of my own. Um, I, I hope you don't mind. So no. my first question to you is for somebody um, who's currently a system integrator, but has limited experience um, with the lighting, what are your top tips to really help become familiar with lighting control and DALI uh, and general um, lighting management systems of a building? Well, I think that that's a very valid and required question when we are, uh, are trying to start our journey new uh, as far as DALI lighting is concerned. The I believe the most important thing which one need to really understand uh, is, is, to, uh, um, is, is to understand the DALI as a whole. And uh, that is extremely simple. In fact, we have uh, a well amazingly documentation available, uh, which can help any novice uh, user uh, to go through it and start understanding and then converting that knowledge into a controls and automation uh, terminology in Nigra. So one which I, I, I can mention is as a basic know-how of DALI as a standard, wherein we don't need to really uh, uh, understand from the, from the uh, development point of view, but since we are going to integrate DALI devices, it is always good to know the basics of DALI. So since some of the points which we, I think you as well as me mentioned as part of our conversation, one is probably on one network, we need 64 devices. I did mention about some 16 groups, 16 scenes, right? So these are the specifications of Nigra, uh, sorry, specifications of the DALI. So that is, that is the basic uh, uh, prerequisite which one has to really understand. Then apart from that, I don't think anything else because uh, uh, Nigra, I believe uh, we already know uh, with that knowledge, they should be able to start uh, designing, commissioning uh, DALI based lighting control systems using Nigra and LED DALI. Okay, fantastic. Thanks for that. Um, I, I might ask uh, another question. Um, you mentioned uh, a specific example about uh, daylight um, harvesting through um, uh, particular warehouses. Could you tell me a couple of other um, applications where Elite Dali was used and what benefits the customers achieved? Sure. In fact, in fact, uh, before I jump to the other application, let me elaborate uh, uh, this daylight harvesting. Right. Uh, predominantly, uh, this daylight harvesting as application has two important aspects. One, of course, energy saving because we want to really leverage the available natural light or the ambient light so that uh, we don't over illuminate our spaces. And I use a word called over illumination. If you look at most of the modern buildings today have glass facades, right? Now that has, that has obvious benefits because we have uh, 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 light available. Now, are, is our current lighting system really capable of leveraging that available light? And that's where the lighting control systems and the applications uh, uh, play a major role. But the most important thing which I believe is ignored is the health aspect of it. So, uh, the way the lower illumination is hazardous uh, and harmful for human being because that can strain our eyes uh, while working. At the same time, if there's a higher or over illumination, even that is hazardous. And that can be solved as a problem because with daylight harvesting, what we are doing, if I do, if I speak in a mathematics language, let's say we need a 300 lux. Now lux is a unit in which we measure light. Right. And let's say we are getting 200 from the from the ambient sources. That means I only need 100 lux from my artificial source and precisely my controls application is doing same thing. So whenever I'm getting 200, my sensors is actually sending a signal that in this particular space, there is a 200 lux. Give a signal to the lighting uh, devices only to generate 100 lux. And this is automated process day in day out. So once you set a set point that in a space I know I need 300, the system will ensure that you always get 300. 
and as a by product you will definitely save a lot of energy and in terms of money but more importantly by ensuring that you only have the optimal light levels you are actually contributing the positive health and well being for all the occupants right so i i i am trying to bring in a different perspective all together uh, because we all when we talk about controls and automation there are only two things in front of us one is how we can save money and of course i am not saying we should not have it right and second is operational efficiency but in terms of lighting controls it is also important to consider and i think that should be the topmost which is the health and well being right so so this is one second of course we, we uh, i did mention about the uh, uh, uvc uh, that is another upcoming uh, emerging application uh, which is very popularly been used and very basic reason because it is the need of time for us to uh, use uh, different technologies to sterilize and sanitize our facilities and uv is one of the proven technology but at the same time it has its own disadvantage if it is exposed then probably we, we uh, the human body and the skin Uh, has some issues right and that's where the controls can come handy because with control it can be precise we are not dependent on any human hence it is not dependent on any human probably we can avoid all those errors so like in nutshell like uh, all those health and well being application uh, daylight harvesting kind of applications connected buildings uh, uh, can be some of the applications what uh, one can easily think of when it comes to lighting controls and automation fantastic Okay, uh, so I uh, I see there's not uh, not a lot of questions. So you must have uh, you must have answered everyone's questions during your presentation. I will I will ask one uh, final question um, then. So someone who's new to Elite Dali, mm -hmm. where can they go for technical information about the Elite Dali hardware or technical information about uh, Elite Dali um, Niagara application interface and uh, usability? Okay, uh, so uh, as I said, if I, if I use a, a equation, right, if it is a hundred, right, out of that, almost seventy percent is your Niagara knowledge, your Niagara expertise. Uh, it's just a thirty percent part, and that thirty percent part is nothing but just to understand, get acquainted with Dali. That is the one thing which I talked in response to the first question. And second, understanding more about those Elit Dali component, which I uh, which I mention as part of the building blocks, right? And we have a, a very detailed documentation available. uh we are also working on uh, uh, go to uh, how to videos which will be definitely handy for all the users but a uh, point i'm trying to highlight is that there is a very well detailed uh, documentation available uh, most of the technical information is available on our web product website called elitedali.com uh, you will also find all our global case studies there uh, uh, that can give you idea different kind of applications uh, one can think of using nigra and elite dali um and of course uh, we also have a uh, training capsules available so uh, if someone would try, really like to understand uh, more details about elite dali we'll be happy to host a separate workshop for them and their technical teams and uh, get into much more details of the product uh, from the how to use point of view uh, i also would like to highlight one more thing here uh, because uh, initially elite dali uh, was uh, a product Uh, developed by a company called Control Network Solution in UK. Uh, recently, in last year, we we have acquired this, and now we have started developing on top of it. Uh, so by doing this, uh, we also have introduced a lot of changes. Now, these changes are not only from the product point of view, because definitely, we being a technical company, we are definitely thinking about what value we can add with our expertise and bring this product and elevate this product to the next level. But we are also giving due consideration in terms of uh, the value adds from the commercial point of view. So there are a couple of things. Earlier, this product was only available as a annual sign up. Uh, we are removing that uh, barrier, and now it is available for anybody and everybody. As far as they are Niagara partners, reason being probably it requires Niagara skills and expertise. With little uh, training from our side on Elite Dali, I think uh, uh, you should be able to up and running using Elite Dali. You don't have to pay any annual uh, sign up fees, etc. Uh, only requirement is that probably you can just uh, have your startup kit, starter kit, so that you can uh, play with it. You can use that kit for the demonstration for your training purposes, and you are up and running to. you can start implementing commissioning lighting controls project uh, along with your building management systems and best part is using the same skills fantastic 
Okay, uh, so I see no more questions, so we'll probably wrap it up there. Um, thank you everybody for joining today and thank you to Sudhir for your insight into DALI, uh, into Elite DALI and, uh, and lighting in general. I, I appreciate it. Um, for, uh, for any questions that do come up um, for, for anybody, um, please feel free to e uh, email me. There's my uh, email on the screen there. Um, you all will have also received an email from me um, uh, regarding the uh, the webinar connection details. So you, you've, you've got my email. You can always email me at any point in time um, or you can email uh, Sudhir also or orders at conserveiot.com. And um, I, I hope we can uh, we can help you with uh, with Elite Daily going forwards. So once again, thank you everybody, and thank you Sudhir. Um, and uh, I will uh, I will I think we'll end there. And uh, I wish everyone a fantastic day and uh, a fantastic week and a fantastic uh, year to come. Okay. Thank you. Thanks everyone. S see you. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Goodbye. Bye bye.